decided today that I will collect all the red currants that I have in my garden because they are ripe and then make some homemade marmalade which I absolutely love. So come with me and we'll pick them up. There is my little bush. the currents. These are two or three plants and they are young as you can see. Still, they have fruit and I love them. So, what I normally do is to, to pick up a few in the mornings to put on my oatmeal or on the cornflakes. Uh, then I always make some oops okay leave it for the animals and I always make some jam and what is also important to me is to leave some of the fruits always on the trees or on the bushes so that animals can eat them too those who fall down and leave them there so hedgehogs can eat them or the birds can pick them from the trees and then I have some plants with not strawberries the other ones I will check the English word later I don't know why but all those berry names translations I guess are some of the most difficult parts to learn in another language, right? Anyhow, what I do with the raspberries, ah. raspberries is because they, they ripen day by day, so there is never a day or a week where they all are ripe but every day there are a few ripe ones and a few that are not yet ripe. So what I do there is I, I have a little Tupper box in my freezer and in the mornings I go and take some raspberries for breakfast. And all the ripe ones on that day that I don't use for breakfast, I put them in the box in the freezer. So later on, I can or use them for whatever I need, some desserts or so, or at the end of summer, I take all those raspberries, those frozen ones and cook them and make jam out of them. No more red dots, 
part of those that I leave for the animals. Great. And this is my one of my strawberry plants. Then this is waiting for me. These are I don't know. I will check the names. Just raspberries as raspberries but they will become black. And it's not black currant, it's black raspberries. <laughs> I don't know. And look at the flowers. It's so nice. I put the raspberries here. And now I will wash them. You see all those those uh, dry leaves and so on, they come on top, which is good. So we can fish them out and also ants and other animals will come to the surface. We don't have to wash the single fruits because it's all nature. I didn't spray any any toxins, any venoms, any chemicals, any whatever. And we will cook them anyhow, so everything's good. the bowl I, I waited it it's 530 grams so afterwards I will know exactly what the weight of the fruit is Tuna 
noisy construction sites just in the neighborhood because it's going since at least six months two construction sites every single day from Monday to Friday and one of the construction sites is just a couple that built a house they are building a house for themselves of course with a construction company but they are trying to do as much as possible on their own of course understandably which means they also work on Saturdays so it's six days out of seven where I have these noises I can not only hear them outside, also inside. As if they would know that I'm talking about them. It's getting louder and louder. Silence. Two seconds. kitchen I wash them just very very quickly because now the, the fruit is open so the more we wash it the more the juice will go out and what I use is this um, it's dextrose and so it's a jelly powder and since a few years there's the 421 which means in um, in former times um, you, our grandmothers did jelly normally using the same weight of fruit with the same weight of sugar so one kilo of fruit one kilo of sugar or even more um, and then this um, product came up and uh, at the beginning it was 2 to 1 then it was 3 to 1 and now it's 4 to 1 which means you need um, four parts of fruit and only one part of sugar so a quarter of sugar which is great because you have less sugar one point and secondly you have much more the taste of the fruit and not that much the sugary sweet heavy Thing. So this is what I'm using and I take this one which in Italy we use for making sugo, tomato sauce, but it's also very good to get rid of the seeds in red currant or raspberries so we 
in that one that's 1115 So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundred and fifty grams, which means three hundred and fifty grams are seeds. So six hundred and fifty. So I'll need approximately one hundred and fifty grams of sugar. And then we need this jelly powder and we need almost one one bag. Now, now we go to the stuff. So here we have to wait until it boils. So when it starts to boil, we set the timer at three minutes. So we let it boil for three minutes and in the meantime I prepare this to avoid the glass to break. So if we suppose we have 200, uh, 600 grams 800 grams, which is fruit, juice and sugar. I always take more glasses than I think I need. And the last one is always a small one. And I always put the lids just in, in the right position. Fits everywhere, perfect. Three minutes are done. Put it off and then we proceed with the glasses.
close it. It's hot. <coughs> you close it and turn it around. Close it and turn it around and turn it around. By that it will disinfect everything inside because it's boiling hot and we're done. We leave it to cool down. At a certain moment you will hear the plop of the vacuum sealing. If you like that recipe, leave me a like and if possible, just subscribe to my channel. And in any case, be kind. Ciao!